Uh, back to another album review. Also getting back to uh, reviewing albums from Bush. And today's review is on the Sea of Memories. Now this is the first material that Bush made since the reunion in 2010. So this is basically their comeback album. And their first material since 2001's Golden State. And before I start talking about the Sea of Memories, and I need to mention that Bush have a different lineup this time. You still have Gavin Rossdale as the lead singer slash rhythm guitarist, and yeah, and uh, Robin Goodridge on drums. And we also have Chris Trainer as the lead guitarist and Corey Britz as the bassist. This means Gavin and Robin are the only original members who are still in the band. You may remember Chris Trainer was the lead guitarist for Institute and even helped Gavin with his solo album. And I think it's really cool that he's currently the lead guitarist for Bush. Uh, Chris did work with Bush during their early years, and he even worked with Helmet. Now, this album also features Jimmy Mahobarek on keyboards. Now, to discuss the album. It's produced by our good friend Bob Rock. Now, the album was uh, recorded between June of 2010 and June of 2011. It was released on September 13th, 2011, under Zuma Rock Records and Entertainment One Music, or E1 as they call themselves. The original title was going to be Everything Always Now, but was changed to The Sea of Memories. Personally, I think The Sea of Memories is a better title. Yeah, I read that this album had peaked at number 18 on the Billboard 200. However, this album ended up getting mixed reviews from critics, which is bullshit because I like this. It's like the rest of Bush's material. It's a lot better than those asshole critics make it out to be. Now to talk about the songs. This album starts with The Mirror of the Signs, which basically sets the tone for, for the album and what we're in for. The next song is The Sound of Winter. Not only is this my favorite song on this album, it's also my favorite song that Bush have ever done. You know, most people say their favorite Bush song is Glycerine, I'm going to go at the sound of winter. And uh, they usually play the song at their live performances. And they've been playing it at their live their live show since, their, since this album was released. Now the song was released as a single on July 22nd, 2011. Just two months before the album was released. Which ended up performing the song on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on September 22nd, 2011. As well as on American Chopper Live on December 6, 2011. All My Life is the next song that follows. After that is The Afterlife. The song was originally a promo single and was released on uh, in June of 2010. I really like how the song has a fast pace to it. Now, Baby Come Home is the next song to get released as a single. The single was released on January 17th, 2012. I really like the atmospheric feel to this song. Also, the music video was directed by Todd Stefani, who was uh, Gavin Rossdale's brother-in-law. Uh, Red Light is another great song. She's a Stallion is another song with a fast pace to it. And I Believe in You and Stand Up are both songs that feel very upbeat. Heart of the Matter and Be Still, My Love are the songs that pretty much wrap up the album. What I need to mention is that this is actually the UK version of the album. As uh, you can see, some of the, uh, you can see the bonus tracks right there. Because uh, the bonus tracks are actually, on a, are actually on a second disc. So you can see here's uh, the first disc. Here's uh, disc two, which has the, the bonus tracks. Now the bonus disc has uh, the following tracks: the year of the, uh, the year of danger, ghost, and lay down your guns. There are also a remix versions of the sound of winter, the afterlife, and all night doctors. These songs were also on the target version of the album. However, uh, since this is the UK version, it also has a live cover of the song Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, an acoustic version of Float. However, the Japanese and Walmart versions of this album feature a cover of the song Level Tear Us Apart by Joy Division. There are also acoustic versions of Come Down and Little Things. 
Overall, I really enjoy this album. Not only that, but this is also my favorite album from Bush. You know, the critics didn't really care for it, but they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I highly recommend buying this album and listening to it. That's all I have to say on this album. Yeah, if you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back on Saturday with another review.